Are you sad because Roblox removed the fast flags? Don't worry, I've got the method to bring them back. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to use the new fast flag setup so you can boost FPS and fix lag in Roblox. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All right, let me show you step-by-step -step how to do it. First, press Windows plus R on your keyboard at the same time. This will open up a little window called Run. Inside this box, type percent local app data percent, and then click OK or press Enter. Once you do this, a folder will open up on your screen. In this folder, scroll down and look for the folder named Roblox. It should be right there, and once you find it, click on it to open it up. Inside, you will see different folders and files, but what we need to focus on is a folder called Client Settings. If you don't see it, you can create one yourself by right-clicking and making a new folder with that exact name. Once you have the Client Settings folder, go inside it. Inside the Client Settings folder, create a new file and name it lxpsettings.json. This is the file where we're going to put all our fast flags. Open the file with Notepad and now paste your fast flags inside. After pasting your flags, click Save to make sure everything is stored properly. Now here's an important step. Right-click the file you just saved, then select Properties. At the bottom, you'll see an option called Read Only. Tick this box, click Apply, and then click OK. Doing this makes sure Roblox doesn't overwrite your fast flags every time you start the game. Once that's done, open Roblox and join a game to test if it worked. When I joined back, I noticed right away that the fast flags were working again. My FPS went way higher than normal, which is awesome. Now, I want to say something important here. I don't know if using this method is bannable or not, so please be careful and use it at your own risk. I personally haven't been banned yet, but I can't promise it's 100% safe. Always stay cautious when tweaking Roblox settings like this. That said, my game feels much smoother, and my FPS is going crazy high compared to before. It's honestly worth trying if you really want to boost your performance. And that's it for today's video. The fast flags are back, they're working, and this is the newest method to use them. I hope this guide helps you get better FPS and a smoother experience in Roblox. Be safe, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next one.